New Super Mario Bros. Wii is an iconic game that I myself played for hours as a kid, and turns out it has a huge selection of mods that add brand new custom made levels to give you countless more hours of fun. So today I'm going to show you how to play any of those game mods, like newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario's Final Adventure, or Mario's Midnight Adventure, and many more. I'll be showing you a well-organized database to browse and download the mods, as well as how to set it up on Dolphin Emulator, on your Wii or Wii U, and even how to patch a game file to play without the disc, whether it's too scratched to use or your disk drive is broken. So let's get into it. So no matter which method you're going to be using to play the mods, I'll have this website linked down below and it has an entire list of almost all of them, but most of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii mods. And whatever isn't on here, you could probably find it on Game Banana but I do find that this website is much more organized. It's sorted between short, medium, long, and full mods. You can click on the length and then it'll organize them all. So there's lots of short mods, some full mods. Some of them have trailers, but then to download the mod, for example, let's get Lava Super Mario Bros. Wii Apocalypse. So click on the link. Download links may be different depending on the creator. This one's a Google Drive, which is nice. So we'll just go ahead and download it. Download anyway. Obviously, the bigger the mod, the bigger the size. This full mod is 1.3 gigabytes, but if we go and find a shorter one, like Super Mario Snowy Season, this one's only 592 megabytes. So we can get that one too. And once those are downloaded, open them up and we just have to extract them. So right click, show more options. I use 7-zip, but you can use any extraction. Extract two, that one's done. You don't need the zip. Extract any others that you might have. I guess I've downloaded that one before. It's down here. But now that we have our mod files, let's start setting them up. So the first one I'm gonna do is Dolphin Setup. So if you're here for another one, if you're setting it up on Wii or the ISO Patcher, check the timestamps and skip ahead. But before I show you that, I'm happy to say that Keys Worlds has actually decided to sponsor this video. Pretty cool. So Keys Worlds is a website that you can buy legit software keys like Windows 10 or 11. It does have a 4.6 star rating on Trustpilot with a thousand reviews, which is quite reassuring, along with their customer support email available and multiple secure ways of paying. They even gave me my very own discount code to get you up to 25% off for their Christmas sale going on right now. You can get a Windows 11 Pro key for as low as $14. And there's other office softwares with the choice of wholesale purchases as well. Just don't forget to throw my code in when you check out to get that 25% off. And while my code won't work for everything on the site, if you browse around, there actually is some money saving things like 12 months of Audible for $96. That's a good deal. So if you're in the market for some software keys, make sure to check out Keys Worlds to see what they have to offer. But now back to the guide. For those of you setting up on Dolphin, we'll leave this open for now. Open up your Dolphin. And for this one, all you need is the actual game file itself set up. If you don't have Dolphin set up, I'll have my video guide linked down below for you to go do that first. First thing to do is go to File, Open User Folder, go into Load, and then if you don't have a Revolution folder, you can go ahead and create one. But once you do, go inside, and in this folder, we're gonna move our mod files. We'll start with Lava Super Mario Bros. Wii inside. This one has the files. Once you have that copied in, you should see the XML file in the revolution folder. So then you can go and do the same for any other mods you have. All right, that is done. We're done with our downloads. And here, just click the bar so it's all highlighted and right click and copy. That'll save us some time coming up. But you can exit this for now. Now inside of Dolphin on your new Super Mario Bros. Wii game, right click, start with revolution patches. It should automatically detect from that folder, from the load slash revolution folder. But if not, you can just click open revolution XML and then navigate to it so you can, so that is highlighted, click paste, press enter, and it should take you where your revolution folder is. Go inside and then select the XML file. But again, that's only if it didn't detect where your revolution files are. You can only have one mod enabled at, at the same time. So I'll turn off snowy season disabled and instead of pressing start so we don't have to do this every time we're going to save a preset and just call it the mod name so lava super mario bros we save i'll close this and now you can see we have a preset it doesn't have a custom cover but that's okay we're still getting the game and then you can do the same thing make sure you use the base game so right click start with revolution patches again and then you can make a preset for any other mods you have so for snowy season i will save that you can name the preset whatever you want but save and now we have both of our presets and that's it for the setup now you can hop in and play 
The best part about playing on Dolphin is that it has graphic enhancements. So you can play in 4K if your computer can handle it. But here we go, we got Lava Super Mario Bros Wii by the Dan team. And now I'm going to show you how to set it up on console using Revolution. And to play on Wii or Wii U, you do need the actual physical disc. But don't worry if your disc is too scratched to work or your disc reader is broken, skip to the next method to find out how to play without a disc. But playing it this way is more reliable. So we have our mod files. Now you need Revolution. So linked down below will be this page and we can download the Revolution app. So click download file. We got that. And now insert your SD card or USB drive that you're using for your modded Wii or Wii U. Here's mine, it's pretty full. But we'll start off by opening the Revolution zip and just drag the apps folder to the root of your SD card. Make sure you don't put it in any other folders. I'm gonna be replacing because I already have it. But once you have that, you can go back and delete the zip. And now be careful here. Don't just jump to dragging these folders on. We're gonna go inside and you need these files. There should be a mod folder and a revolution folder. This is gonna have our XML file, which is very important. So if we go over to the other one as well, it has mod folder, revolution folder. So then all you gotta do is highlight those. I'm not gonna move the readme text because I have enough files on there and drag these two folders onto the root of your SD card. While that's transferring, I will also get the snowy season one going as well. So highlight the folders. If there's a bonus stuff folder here, you probably don't need it, but it does come with a PNG, which is pretty cool. If anyone plans on making videos of this, you can use that for your thumbnail, but grab the two important folders to the root of your SD card. And once they're transferred over, we are all set. So you can eject your SD card and we can head over to our console. And over on your Wii or your virtual Wii, make sure your game disc is inserted. And then I have the Revolution channel on my menu. And then I already have the Revolution channel, but let's go to the app in the homebrew channel. So open that up, load into Revolution. It'll detect the disc and then here it will read the disc and tell you what game you have. If you would like to get the Revolution channel, I'll show you, I'll remove that quick. You'll be able to press install here and it will install the channel really quick. And then starting the game is simple. If you have multiple mods like I do, you can use plus and minus to go between the pages and then make sure only one of these is enabled. If I'm gonna be playing Snowy Season, I'm gonna keep that enabled and disable the lava. Once I've made sure that's good, press launch and it will load into the mod. Sometimes it can take a little bit, but if successful, there we go, we got Super Mario Snowy Season. And there you go, I hope you enjoy playing your mod. And now I'll show you guys how to set it up without a disc. So in order to patch your new Super Mario Bros. Wii game, you do need Windows. We'll be using a program that's only on Windows. If you wanna skip this step, see the pinned comment, possible without it, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I'll have three links in the description under the ISO Builder section. And the first one will be for ASUS Revolution ISO Builder. We are gonna grab the latest release here. Just grab the zip file. And once that's downloaded, exit out. We're also gonna need WIMS ISO tools. Scroll down and grab the Windows 64 zip file. Once you have that, the last program is gonna be the Wii ISO renamer. So on the right side, just click the download link here. Confirm you're not a robot and then click download. Perfect, we have everything, we can close this. Open up your downloads. Start off by extracting the Revolution ISO builder. 7-zip, extract two delete the zip, and then also extract the WIMS tools. I've used it before, so it's hiding from a long time ago. Delete the zip, and before we start, we're gonna install WIMS tools, so go into the WIT 3.05 folder, and just run the Windows install exe file. Press yes when Windows prompts you. It will have this command window to install. Once you see done, you are all good. Now, if you're installing this for the first time, you do need to restart your computer at this point, and that way the program will be applied. So go ahead and do that. And once you're back, open up your downloads again. I'm gonna put the Revolution ISO Builder folder on the desktop here and open up that folder. I'm gonna put it on the right and downloads on the left. And now you need the ISO or WBFS file for New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So I have my game file right here. I just put it in my downloads so that it is in the same spot. And then also take note of where your mods are. But once you have those ready, Go ahead and run the revolution isobuilder.exe file. 
it'll run the command prompt. First thing we need to do is select the game file. So wherever you have it, go and find it. And if you have a WBFS file like me in the bottom right here, just check off WBFS and then it should show up. Select the game file, press open. Now it's time to choose a Revolution XML file. So go into your mod download, go into the Revolution folder, and you should see an XML file. Click on it and press open. Now we get to name the ROM and tell it where to go. And we're gonna leave it on .iso so we can change the title ID after we patch it. Don't worry, we can convert it back to WBFS when we set it up for USB Loader GX. I'll be nice and simple, put it to my downloads and I'll call it Snowy Bros Wii. Once you have a name and a spot, press save and then it'll go and patch the ROM. You'll probably get this prompt here. Basically, it's gonna be using the same title ID as the base game, so the save files are gonna be affected, but that's okay, we're gonna fix that after we patch it. So we'll let that run through. And you should see all done, just press enter, and now you should have your patched ISO file. Now that we have the ISO, we're gonna run the Wii ISO renamer. We can close the Revolution ISO builder, we're done with that. And here's the program, it's nice and simple, open ISO, select it and press open. Right now the game name is New Super Mario Bros Wii with the title ID matching that. So what we're gonna do is change it. So just type your game name in, and now we need to create a new game ID. And I will say there is a database, I will link it down below, of custom New Super Mario Bros Wii mods with certain game IDs. You're welcome to use these if you go Control F and then search up your mod. So here's Super Mario Snowy Season, here's the title ID, game ID, sorry, so you're welcome to copy that and you use the game ID here, you should be able to get that custom art. But if you're not worried about that, then you can make the game ID whatever you want. But I'm gonna use that one. Once you have the name and the game ID, press save, and you should be good. If you wanna double check, just go to open ISO, click that same file, open, and then you should see the name change as the old game name. So we're good, you can exit out. And now we need to set the game up. I will be using Tiny Wii Backup Manager. You can also use Wii Backup Manager. That one works fine. They both convert ISO into WBFS. I won't go in depth on how to use this program or where to get it. I'll have a, a video link down below if you've never used it. But I will quickly set it up, open the game, add it to my USB drive, and there we go. And here's the mod ready to play. If there's no custom artwork on GameTDB, then you won't get any here. But obviously, that doesn't change the playability. Now that we have it set up, let's go make sure it is on. As you can see, no disk. Let's load into USB Loader GX. There should be a new sign, and it should have the actual name. So, Super Mario Snowy Season. Let's make sure it works. And there you are, you're playing your mod without a disc. And because we changed the title ID, you have a brand new save that doesn't affect your other new Super Mario Bros. games. But there you go guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>